Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Let's get into it. Now today it is that time of the month for me. Now I am talking about time to wash all of my latex. Although, to be fair, I actually do also have my period and I feel like we need to normalize the fact that, yes, women get periods and it's not that gross, like, let's all just grow up a little bit, but latex time. So, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you may remember that I've had a few incidents now with ruining my latex clothing because I did not know how to take care of it, store it, clean it. All of that. So I actually made a video, a live video like a week ago, asking you guys, my subscribers, my number one um, go-to resource for latex knowledge, how to clean my latex. So now that I've taken all these tips on board, I feel like I'm finally ready to sit down and wash everything in one big go. Because after Halloween, we all know that it needs it. I filmed so many videos of all this stuff and put it on for all those different photos on my Instagram and it is time. All the stuff from Honor UK is actually still just in this box that it came in, except for one dress that I wore the other day in my video for like white latex. That's in my other cupboard, but I'll get that out in a second. So all of my PVC, the costumes, and then all the latex has all just been kind of sitting in this box inside the little plastic um, holders, but it is definitely time to give them a clean. So I'm going to take you through the process with me and fingers crossed everything works out okay this time. Okay, so straight off the bat, the number one tip I saw was to use a latex specific washing aid. No, I don't have any of that, but the other thing people said to use was just liquid dishwashing soap. So that is what I'm going to do today in like lukewarm to cold-ish water. You just want to put the latex in, separate your colors out, let the latex sit in the water for up to 10 minutes so that any oil or like sweat or stuff in your latex will you know come out of it then rinse them hang them up to dry you're good to go so that is what i'm going to do to start with is just wash everything i'll do all my black stuff together and then probably the colors separately things like this like my nurse costume this is actually pvc so i could probably just like give this a wipe down and not have to worry about this whole process or I could send it to the laundromat and just get it cleaned there. That's one other thing I will note that obviously don't put your latex in the washing machine. I don't even have a washing machine. We live in a tiny apartment and there's literally no room for one in our bathroom. So that wasn't an option. Anyway, I'm gonna have to like wash in a bucket and then in the shower. That's why I'm just explaining the process to you now because I'm not gonna take my phone into the, the bathroom with me because it's just, it's just too small and there's a cat litter tray in there and it's just, it's not a vibe. So running you through the process now, and then I will show you when it's all air drying behind me. And then at the end of the video, we'll get into how I'm going to store the latex to keep it protected and stop the colors from bleeding into each other, which is what happened with my previous latex dresses where they got stained by my black gloves. So we don't want that to happen again. We are avoiding that at all costs. Let's get clean. <laughs> So I'm here with my bucket and my soap. Now throw on the latex. So I guess let's start with all the black stuff. I will do the rest of this in the bathroom. I just wanted to give you a quick little demonstration. I actually considering the size of this bucket and how much fabric there is in my cat suit. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to fit in there with this, but I'm going to just get it all right side out. Actually, I did see some comments that said to wash them inside out, so maybe I will do both, but for now, catsuit is going into the bucket. You might also notice that some of my fingernails are actually starting to come off, and I think I've decided since my nails keep getting done kind of badly anyway, that maybe this is gonna be the end of the acrylic nails for a while, which is a good sign for me wearing my gloves soon. So you can all stop asking me when I'm gonna wear my gloves because maybe, maybe it will be good.
Okay, guys, so here we are in my shower. After all, my other black items are my corset, if you remember that, the little black tube dress, and then what everyone keeps asking about is my black gloves. So I'm going to attempt to put them all in this bucket at the same time, but I might have to do two loads of the blacks, and then we're gonna wait 10 minutes and rinse them out. Now it's time for red. Add my little red bra, my red pants, and my skater skirt. Okay, I got changed when the sun is setting, so sorry about the lighting change, but step two, of course, is to hang it all to dry, so time to hang it out. Okay, so it's actually the next day now, so everything should be dry behind me. I am going to set my camera up and just show you what I'm going to do from now onwards to store my latex. This is not what I've been doing previously. Like I mentioned, I literally just had it sat in that cardboard box for the last week and a half. And my previous collection of latex, so the Vex items, as well as the Honor skater skirt that I brought with me from Australia, I just had them wrapped up in towels. After my incident where my black gloves like leached into my colorful dresses. So now I'm gonna be keeping all my colors separated so that everything stays protected. Okay, hopefully you can see everything fine just here. Just ignore my completely like random outfit. This is honestly what I wear most of the time, but I also just have some towels on the floor currently because as the latex is drying, the water is going to drip out. But I have some Plastic hangers, not metal, you do not want to store anything on metal hangers, so plastic it is. And then some little garment bags. Now, one recommendation I did get a few times in my live video was that hanging was better than like folding and storing that way, so that's what I'm choosing to do. I have four separate bags because I have four different colors of latex. So I'll do my two dresses at the end separately in their own bags, and then I'll try to put as much of a black as I can in one bag. And then I also have my red. So that will be my four different colors. So that is how I'm going to sort it. And then I'm just gonna hang it up in my wardrobe. And I'm just gonna hang it up in my wardrobe. You do wanna make sure that with the bags, if you are getting plastic bags, they don't have PE in them. Honestly, I'm not sure what this even is, but I did hear that that can degrade the latex and eat away over time. So obviously do not want so so these ones i found they don't have any pe in them and i'm good to go now one final step before i actually put these away is i'm going to turn them inside out dust them lightly with some baby powder and then hang them up Thank you. 
again another suggestion that i got was after you wash them to rinse them in like a silicon oil which is essentially the dressing aid stuff but to be honest i just don't have that much of the dressing aid and i want to save that for when i need to get into the items so i'm going to use the so i'm going to use the baby powder method i've just got a towel down on the floor to catch any of the excess and i'm going to powder up I will just say lastly that I feel like the stains on my pink dress have pretty much all gone. So that is amazing. I'm so happy about that. It's back to its normal glistening gorgeous self. So I guess all it took after all was just a good long soaking in some detergent and back to new again. And that is going to be it. I'm going to just hang them up in my wardrobe behind me. I only have the one space, so now at least if they're in their protective little sleeves, they will be nice and safe. I'm thinking I might even go out and get one more of the um, like garment bags just to put away all my PVC stuff. You don't have to take so much care when storing that, I believe. Let me know down below if there's something I should specifically do with my PVC, like my catsuit or my costumes and things like that. But otherwise, that's going to be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. And remember that if I've done something with my latex that you wouldn't necessarily do, that is okay. But if I have done anything that you think is damaging or dangerous to the latex, just let me know in the comments down below. I have followed my subscribers' suggestions, but if for whatever reason there has been a mistake, feel free to let me know and I will pin it in the top comments if there's any adjustments that need to be made next time. But thanks for watching and I will see you next Friday with a brand new video. <laughs> Bye.